Okay, hey YouTube, it's Maud again coming at you with another video. This one today is going to be about lipstick. I have a problem. I hope you can join me in it. Um, now, I'm specifically doing this tutorial because it's been requested of me probably upwards of a dozen times in the last year or two. I rock a really fun ombre lip. And every time I post a selfie or a picture doing this lip, I get requests like, Megan, how did you do that? And I'm like, I really can't relay that to you via text. I could only show you, and now I have a chance to actually show you guys. So I'm using two different products for this. You just need two different lip colors, uh, one darker than the other. Hopefully in the same color family, though you could probably do some really cool stuff with very different colors. I'm not going to do that today. That's not the tutorial I'm making today. Um, but I have two colors here. I have Kat Von D's Vampira, and that's going to be my darker shade. Love this stuff. I'm not sure if that's focusing correctly or not. Really dark crimson red shade, and then I also have Lime Crimes Red Velvet that I'm using. I love their packaging, it's really, really nice. Um, but brand doesn't matter here, these are both liquid to matte lipsticks. You could do pretty much the same thing with um, virtually any other kind of lipstick, but that's my favorite kind. I like to be able to eat my burritos without messing my face up. It's a big plus for me and I'm not gonna get into brand politics right now every, every time I hop on YouTube I hear something else about how some brands owner has done something terrible and you should boycott them and I know Lime Crime had some issues a few years back um, this is about technique use whatever brand you would like to it'll work either way now I'm gonna start with my darker shade this little foot applicator that I use there and I'm going to start by applying this around the edges of my mouth so like in the corners here and I'm gonna stop about a third of the way down and I followed the outer line there Do that on both sides. There we go. You want to get this as close to even as possible, but if it's not perfect, you're okay. You have a little bit of wiggle room. So I'm going to do the same thing on the top. right now. That's okay because we're not done yet. Um, now I've got about a third of my lips bare in the middle including the cupid's bow here and the bottom here. Uh, now you could also, this is optional, I've done it both ways depending on how you're feeling, um, you could take this color and add a little bit across the bottom or you can leave it plain the way it is. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like when you use a little bit across the bottom. Excuse me. You to be really careful to get that line correct because these mats are not very forgiving if you mix them up. Um, so I'm going to set that Kat Von D shade that is Vampira again. Side, and I'm going to grab my uh, red velvet lime prime here. <coughs> Excuse me. Cool. And we're going to go 
go into these areas that we've left bare and fill them in. And feel free to overlap. We usually have plenty of give with these colors. If your bright red goes over your dark red a bit, they still stay pretty um, separate. on the top. Now when it comes to the Cupid's bow, um, you're going to follow the lines a little differently. A lot of people I see, they'll go, they'll try to keep following those edges like they're going in with a pencil and outlining something. What you want to do is you want to use the little foot of the lipstick and kind of press it up against the inner edge of the bow. And you're going to make a little X. And that really gets that Cupid's bow the way you want it. Messing up the Cupid's bow can ruin the whole lipstick application process. And that's really frustrating, especially if you have expensive lipstick, especially if you're in a hurry. Um, but we have that little X there, and then we're going to continue following that line. All the way down. Back into the darker color. what I'll do while it's still wet is I'll grab that dark color again, touch up the edges. Get them while they're both wet, you can blend that a little bit. Okay. And then I almost always have to go back in with whatever my outer color is and rework this line. Because I almost always mess it up, gosh darn it. And ta-da! Like that, we're done. Now, getting your lipstick perfect so it's not off kilter can be uh, a lifelong journey, in my personal opinion. You guys, keep doing what you want to do. Be yourself. Uh, have fun with the tutorial. I hope I could help some of you out. And like and subscribe the video if you enjoyed it. There will definitely be more coming up soon. And have a great day.